we want to look at a half-life problem that's a little more in detail and has more steps to it than the ones we've done in the past. So I have this example right here and we're looking at a skull and I know that if I'm looking at dating, I'm looking at carbon-14 decay, so I have to be given what the actual half-life is for carbon-14. Now on one of these problems we're going to use this formula that's a little more advanced, it's actually from college algebra, but it's going to give us what we need and how we need to do it. So it's a natural log. If you've never heard of a natural log, it's okay. You can use your calculator to do it. But there's a few things that we need to know about it. So we have this n over n sub 0. n is going to be your final, and n sub 0 is going to be your initial. And over here, t to the 1 half, that's going to be the half-life of whatever substance you're looking for. So what we need to do is we need to go ahead, okay, we need to use this equation right here, so I want to rewrite that equation, leaving out the things that I don't know. So I need to know what n final is. Well, it says that when it decayed, it decayed to 4.5, so that's going to be my final. And then it says the decay rate is this right here. So this is my initial, 15.3, because when it's alive, it's initial, and when it's dead, it's final. But now I've got to figure out, I've got two unknowns here. So I need to find out what k is. So k equals the natural log of 2 divided by the half-life, which is 5730 in our case. So how do you do that on the calculator? Well, I take my calculator. I'm going to first press 2. And then I'm going to hit the natural log, which is ln, and then I'm going to divide that by 5730. So that's what k is right there. So k equals this 0 0.00012096.8. So now I'm going to come back over here to my equation and I'm going to plug that in. So now I have this formula right here, but I need to simplify the left hand side of the equation. So now I'm going to take my calculator, I'm going to enter 4.5 divided by 15.3 equals, and then I'm going to hit the natural log button, and I'm going to record that number. So I've recorded the number right here. Now I want to get t all by itself, so the opposite of multiplication is division. So I'm going to divide both sides by everything that I see in front of that t. So we know when we do that over here on the right hand side, anything over itself is just what? It's just 1, so those will cancel, and that will leave me with t. And then I'm going to use my handy dandy calculator now. I'm going to take the answer I had before and I'm going to divide. And I get this number right here, so I get this 10116.52199. I'm not really still worried about significant figures in this one, so this is about 10,000. And what are our units? Well, originally it said that the half-life was in years, so our answer is in years. So this would be our final answer.